Hello and welcome. In this short video, I want to show you how to determine the number of sound segments in a word or in a short passage. Let's take the English word knowing as an example. From an orthographic point of view, the matter seems clear. We simply count the letters and the result is five consonants K, N, W, N and G and two vowels O and I. Such an analysis, however, is confined to those languages that are written and that use a phonographic writing system. A more general approach, which can be applied to all languages, however, uses a phonetic analysis where each sound segment is represented phonetically. Now, phonetically, knowing has three vocalic and two consonantal segments. However, in applying our knowledge about the sound system of present-day English, here received pronunciation, the standard phonological dialect of England, we know that O is treated as a single vocalic phoneme. Thus, the phonemic analysis yields two consonants and two vowels. Here is another example, match play. The phonetic analysis gives us eight sound segments, five consonants and three vowels. But since in RP, CH is an affricate and A a diphthong and both constitute single phonemes, we have only six elements, that is, four consonants and two vowels. Thus, for all languages, we suggest the following procedure. First, transcribe an item phonetically and isolate its sound segments. If you have access to the sound system of the language, perform a phonemic analysis next and possibly refine the number of segments. For example, in English, the consonantal cluster T and S in salts is analyzed as two consonants, a plosive and a fricative. Whereas in German Salz, it is a single affricate consonantal phoneme. Okay? Further examples can be found on the Virtual Linguistics Campus, for example, in the practical sections or in the mastery tests of our phonological courses. <laughs>